in this video, I'll be talking about all the tools that I used when I was preparing for the ECE and ECT board exam. Now, these tools are categorized into two, those that will uphold your attention and memorization, and those that will help you organize your to-do list and track your progress. So first on our list is Notion. I started using Notion while I was in my fourth year in college, and since then, it has served as my virtual file cabinet for easier access and management of important documents such as a link to a YouTube tutorial or a thesis paper. Now let me show you a quick walkthrough of my workspace. Uh, okay, so this is my workspace. It's called Cat's Workspace. And I have here my uni space, my self-improvement space, a list of the things that I'm proud of, uh, the list of my tasks, and of course my study playlist. If you guys want to check out my Spotify playlist, I'll put it on the description below. So now let's go to my ECE board examination page. So basically this is how it looks like. I have here all the reminders which include all the important dates and deadlines that I had to meet such as the application for the ECE and ECT board exams and of course the main dates for the ECE and ECT board exams. Okay, so I also have here my goals which kept me motivated to do more and to double my efforts during the review process. So I also have here a list of my review subjects. Uh, in this section, I use the toggle command. The topics are categorized into JS, Mathematics, Electronics, and EST. I also have here um, the link to some important files and other references. And I think that's enough of Notion Tour and let's proceed to the next tool. For those of you who likes to track the remaining days before the board exam, I highly recommend installing the Countdown widget. By the way, you can get it for free in the Google Play Store, but I'm not sure if it's also available to Apple Play Store. Let me show you how this app works. Obviously, I don't have my phone with me since I'm using it to record this video, but that's fine. Just watch the screen recording. For example, you want to know the remaining days before Christmas. The first First thing that you need to do is place the widget on your home screen, click the icon, and it will redirect you to its mobile interface. Now from there, you can set the date of the actual occasion, customize the theme of the icon, and even adjust its temporal elements whether you want it on a yearly, monthly, weekly, or even on a daily basis. Moving on to our study tools, I think most EC and ECT reviewees are already familiar with Indivix. This app contains hundreds of questions on topics covering electronics, communication, C programming, and even technical drawing. Now, if you are preparing for the board exam, I highly suggest that you answer as many questions as you can on this app. And if you have no idea how the question arrived with its answer, you can simply head on to the discussion forum where end users explain the solution thoroughly. The point is, you should not simply memorize the question and the answer. Instead, you have to devote a lot of effort to understand the concept behind the question and how it arrived with the solution. In that way, whenever you encounter a similar question, you can correctly and confidently answer it. And of course, how can we even forget Anki? Now, this powerful app allows you to personalize your own decks of flashcards based on how you want them to appear on your screen. What I like about Anki is that it's not exclusive to boring text. You can even add your own image, which is very helpful, especially when you're studying for circuit analysis. In that way, you can view the circuit itself and its corresponding values. Another tip, you can use this app to study your formula list. Anki has a feature that allows you to insert equations which is very helpful for us engineers and future engineers. Another feature of Anki is that it allows you to import existing decks of flashcards from the internet which saves you a lot of time and energy. Now there are tons of videos here on YouTube which you can watch if you want a full tutorial on how to use the Anki app. And that is it for this video. If you guys are using apps which are related to the aforementioned, feel free to comment them below and I'll see you on my next episode. Bye!